With tablets, you can cave the strongest of skulls in, you can dig through the hardest of materials, and you can steal the most expensive spells. Wise words from Tankyo, who just yesterday discovered that, yes, you can steal spells from holy mountains with just a single tablet. And conveniently, every single run has a simple-to-obtain tablet right in the mines. So, if you can't find the means to dig spells out of the holy mountains and get them for free that way, or Circle of Buoyancy to lift spells to the holy mountain ceiling to get them for free that way, you can use any one tablet to do so. Again, allowing you to do this in any run right from the beginning of the game. All you need is to know how to perform the item possession glitch, which I covered in a video here, but the gist of it is basically you want to switch to an item, in this case a tablet, throw it, and then spam the key used to switch to that item a few times. So for example, I'll press 5, right mouse click, followed by 5 again a few times. It can take some practice to get the timing down, but when you're successful, you'll be able to continuously throw the tablet without picking it up or even being close to it. You'll throw the tablet in the direction of your cursor in relation to you. So, let's go and steal this double spell. You just want to very carefully throw the tablet so that it's centered on the platform of the spell you want to steal. You do this by keeping your cursor very close to yourself in the direction you want to throw the tablet in. Once it's there, you very carefully and gently nudge the tablet upwards by keeping your cursor right above your head. Already, you can see where we're going with this. With the spell pushed up above the tablet, we're just going to make sure we're centered, and then raise the cursor higher up and with a couple careful throws, the spell flies up to the ceiling and then drops, free for us to grab. After you get the spell on top of the tablet, if you throw the tablet too hard, then the spell could fall through too early, so I recommend using a couple smaller, gentler throws to accomplish this trick. Also, the chain lanterns hanging above the spells can and will get in the way, so if you can shoot them down, do so. But if you don't have a way to cut the chains, you might not be able to get any of the spells underneath them. Also, you probably won't be able to use this trick to get any of the bottom row spells since, well, there's a brick slab in your way. But if you can somehow manage to get the spell onto the top shelf, then you should be able to snatch it. I just don't yet know if this is possible. Anyway guys, have fun. Don't let lack of wealth stand in your way. Thanks for watching, and happy noiting.